Hey, fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're doing chapter four in our book, Math Test Success, ASVAB Algebra. This course, this book, is designed to walk you through kind of the basics of mathematics so you can be successful on any math exam, especially the ASVAB military placement exam. Doing well on standardized tests, you need to review concepts, relearn some concepts, and most importantly, you need to practice. You can't learn how to juggle by watching me juggle. You only learn how to juggle by practice. That's exactly the same in mathematics. You need to have a pencil and paper out in front of you, pause the videos, do the problems before I do the problems, unpause the videos, and watch how I do them. All right, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started in chapter four, ratios and proportions. Okay, a ratio compares two objects. Uh, it is a very useful um, tool in mathematics, you use it all the time, whether you're in aviation, the military uses ratios, business, you're always comparing things and that's really what a ratio is. There are three ways to write a ratio. The first is a colon. You could say A is to B, or you could write that exact same thing as a fraction, A is to B, and then the third way you could write that ratio is with the word A to B. As an example, if you're looking at a classroom and there are 15 female students and 20 male students, what is the ratio of females to males? It is important, the order you read those is the way you're gonna write the ratio. So it has to be ratio of females to males, so it has to be the females first. So I could write that 15 to 20, or I could write that as 15 to 20, or 15 to 20. The other way, the other thing you want to do is reduce that. Because it is a fraction, you could look at what goes into both of these numbers. I could see five goes into 15 three times and into here four times. So it is a ratio of three to four or a ratio of three to four. All of those are equivalent, meaning they're exactly the same. This is just a reduce uh, of that ratio right there. Here's another sample problem. A recipe calls for two cups of flowers and three cups of sugar. In that order, that is two to three, two to three, or two to three. All equivalent ways to write the same ratio. Okay, let's take a look at proportions now. A proportion is when you set one ratio equal to another ratio. So if you have A is to B, is equal to C to D. Here's a ratio A to B. Here's a ratio C to D. I set those ratios equal, and that's what a proportion is. And that means A is proportional to B as C is proportional to D. So are two-thirds and four-sixths proportional? So I set two-thirds equal to four-sixths. I could see that two times two is four, three times two is six. So yes, they are proportional. Another way to solve this is what's called cross multiplying. I take that times that, and that should be equal to that times that. So two times six is 12. Three times four is 12. Is 12 equal to 12? Yes, it is. Therefore, two thirds is proportional to four, six. Okay, let's take a look at example three here. If three apples cost $2, so three apples are two dollars, how much will nine apples cost? So it is important that as I read it, I lay it out that way, that apples stay on top and dollars stay on the bottom. Now that I have that, I could cross multiply again. I have three X is equal to nine times two, 18. Solving for X, I divide both sides by three and X is equal to six. What is that six? Well, if it's three apples for $2, it is nine apples for $6. One ratio equal to another ratio is a proportion. Okay, pause the video, do this sample problem. Unpause the video, watch how I do it. 120 miles in two hours. Uh-oh, pens on the fritz. Two hours, how far will I travel in five hours? My units have to line up, so how far 
is going to be how many miles in five hours. So I have hours to hours, miles to miles. I could see this is two times two and a half. So this is 120 times two and a half. Or I could cross multiply this times this. Five times 100 is 500. Five times 20 is another 100. So 600 is equal to x times 2, 2x, two right, x times 2, divide both sides by 2, and x is equal to 300. So let's just double check that. I drive 120 miles in 2 hours, therefore I drive 300 miles in 5 hours. If these ratios are equal, then it's a proportion and I can solve for my unknown. Okay, let's take a look at some application problems in section 4.4 here. Um, here's a, a scaling recipe. A recipe has four servings, requires one and a half cups. So four servings requires 1.5 cups. How much flour is needed for six servings? So how much flour is needed for six servings? We double check that. This is servings on top, flour on the bottom. Uh, six servings on top, flour on the bottom. It's a little weird to have a decimal and a fraction, but this is going to work out pretty well. Again, the way to set this up, ratio equal ratio, they're equal. Then I have a proportion. I cross multiply. Six times one and a half is nine. Four times x is four x. Divide both sides by four. Fours cancel, I have x is equal to 9 over 4. If I want to convert that um, into a mixed number, 4 goes into 9 two times with 1 left over. So 2 and a quarter. So let's see if that makes sense. 4 servings are 1 and a half cups. How much is 6 servings? Which should be 1 and a half times that or 2 and a quarter. Okay, here's another sample problem. Go ahead and pause the video and we'll run through it. A pancake recipe makes eight pancakes per two cups of milk. How much milk is needed to make 12 pancakes? So again, I have 8x is equal to 24. Divide both sides by 8. I get x is equal to 3. See if that looks right. Uh, 8 over 2 is 4, 12 over 3 is 4, so the correct answer is 3 right here. All right, let's calculate some percentages here. Um, what is 25% of 80? Remember that chapter on percents? I am saying right here, this is 25 of 100, so there's my second number. So I am saying 25 of 100 is equal to what over 80? Right, so let's read this again. What is 25% of 80? Well, it's saying this is a ratio, and I want to know what that ratio is. So I set it up this way. I cross multiply 80 times 25. Um, that's 200. And 100 times x, divide both sides by 100, and I have x is equal to 2. Oh, did something wrong there. 25 times 80, I dropped a zero, right? 25 times 80 is 2,000, right? My hundreds cancel here, and then two of these cancel with those, and then this is equal to 20. So x is equal to 20. Let's just double check that, make sure it looks right. This is about, this is a quarter, one fourth. 20 over 80 is one fourth as well. Two ways to do that. that. The way we did it with this one is we set it up as a ratio equal to a ratio, cross multiplied and solve. Uh, I started going a little too fast instead of writing it out and keeping track of my digits there. It was my mistake, but it, it made sense. I caught it because it didn't make sense. The other way to do this is just convert that to a decimal, 0.25, and then do 80 times 0.25. It'll get you to the same place. One's not better than the other, they're kind of equal. Okay, one more time, what is 15% of 120? So I have 15 is to 100 as what is to 120? 
So I'm expecting a number bigger than 15 here. I cross multiply. 120 times 15 gives me 0. 10, carry the 1, 6, placeholder, 0, 2, 1, add up, 0, 0, 8, 1. I get 1,800 is equal to 100x. So I divide both sides by 100. That's going to drop two zeros out. And x is equal to 18. Quick check, 15 is to 100 as 18 is to 120. That looks about right. OK, let's take a couple of scale problems here. So a map uses scales, which are ratios. Um, if I have one centimeter, one centimeter equals 10 kilometers. And on the map, it is 3.5 centimeters on the map. What is the distance between them? So I got my centimeters to kilometers, centimeters to kilometers. That's what I'm looking for. I cross multiply 10 times 3.5 is 35. So this answer is 35. And that kind of makes sense too. If one centimeter is 10 kilometers, then three and a half centimeters is 35 kilometers. Keep your units on there. Another sample problem right here. On a map with a scale of one inch to 50 miles, again, inches are in the numerator, miles in the denominator. If they are two and a half inches apart, how many miles is that? I cross multiply. 2.5 times 50, better multiply that one out so I don't make a mistake, 0, 25, placeholder, 0, 10, 0, 5, 2, 1, I'm over one place. So if it is 1 inch to 50 miles, 2.5 inches is 125 miles. OK, I have a practice test with 14 problems on ratio and proportion. I won't do them all. If you have the book, you can work through all 14. The answer key is below. Uh, but let's go ahead and do a few of these. What is the simplified ratio of 24 to 18? That is saying 24 to 18. I look over at my answers. Uh, none of them are there. I recognize it is divisible by 6. 6 will go into here 4 times in the, th in the 18 three times, giving me four-thirds. Correct answer, answer A. Natural distractor, B. Um, but remember, it's in the order that the sentence is in. Number two, in a class there are 12 boys and 16 girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls? Four goes into here three times, into here four times to give us three-fourths. Correct answer, B. Number three, solve for x. Two is to x as 10 is to 25. Cross multiply, 10x equals 50. Divide both sides by 10, and x is equal to 50 divided by 10, or 5. Correct answer, b right there. Let's do a few more. Get them a little bit harder here. So on number four here, if four pencils cost $2, how much will seven pencils cost? So I got pencils to pencils, cost to cost. I cross multiply, 4x equals 14. Divide both sides by four. It's going to give me x by itself. 14 over four, two will go into there seven times and then into there twice. So that's going to give me 7 over 2. 7 over 2. 2 goes into 7 three times, leaving me with 3 and a half. So 3 and a half dollars will be $3.50. Again, remember to pause the video. Do the problems before I do them. Uh, you need to do a lot of practice. I won't do too many here. I don't want to, the videos to be too long. But there will be more in the book with the answers below. And number five, a car travels 150 miles in three hours. Three hours. How far will it travel in five hours? 
So again, we want to know how far will it travel, miles to miles, hours to hours. I cross multiply, 5 times 150 is 750 is equal to 3 times x. Divide both sides by 3. 3 goes into there 250 times. 75 divided by 3 is 25, so 250. So correct answer, answer D. Here's a scale problem. Map has a scale of 1 inch to 20 miles. Two cities are 3 and a half inches apart. How many miles are the actual one? Well, I could just do 1 times 3 and a half, puts me here. 20 times 3 and a half. I could do that. 20 times 3 is 60, and then a half would be half of that 10, so it would be 70. Correct answer, answer C. Or you could cross multiply to see that 1x is equal to 3 and a half. Well, 3 and a half times 2 is 70. Recipe calls for 2 cups of flour and 3 cups of sugar. If you want to make a larger batch using six cups of flour, how much sugar do you need? Two times three is six. Three times three is nine. Correct answer, nine cups right there. All right, well, thank you for watching. Keep studying, keep doing practice problems. You will improve. You will get that score you want if you just keep working at it. So just keep going. Thank you for watching.